Are you moving to Oklahoma City and looking for land and a place to spread out? Maybe you're tired of living in a big city, but still don't want to be too far from all those city amenities. Then Piedmont could be your next right place. Piedmont's slogan is winds of progress, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm going to take you on a map tour and drive you down some of the roads and through some of the neighborhoods. And you can see for yourself what kind of progress is blowing in or out of Piedmont. And if this is a place you'd want to call home. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Kennedy. I'm a realtor here in the Oklahoma City area. If you have any questions on suburbs or neighborhoods or anything related to moving and living here, head to my description box, text or email me and we can talk more. I've moved to Oklahoma four times from other countries and states and I love helping people figure out their next right move. All right, let's get to Piedmont. This is the map of Piedmont. Um, you can see the Piedmont city limits here. Uh, if you watched my last video on Choctaw, I think you'll come to see that Choctaw, Choctaw, Piedmont and Choctaw are similar. Um, Piedmont is a smaller city. It is, I would say, even more rural than Choctaw, but it's growing faster than Choctaw. It might actually be the fastest growing city in this state or one of them. So there's a lot of land and space to spread out. If you are looking for a um, something similar to Choctaw, but you don't want to be that far east. Um, you want to be more west, closer to Texas, then you might really like Piedmont. Piedmont is um, mostly residential and then agricultural next. Let me shut that down. Okay. The schools are well rated. Um, if you go to greatschools.com, no, greatschools.org, you can see how the schools are rated. Um, Piedmont is technically a city, but it feels very much like a town. It has that small town feel. It has parades and little small town events. Um, I would, it's a very close knit community, but if you can see on the map, um, although you are not real, let me move this way. Okay, although you are not real close, to the heart of Oklahoma City over here, um, you are close to other other parts of the city up this way. Um, this is the Turnpike, which is a toll road. So if you live here, you'll probably want to have a toll sticker uh, because you'll probably <laughs> probably be going um, on the toll road a lot because you'll take that. You'll come over here and down and take that into the city um, or anywhere over this way. Otherwise, you'll come down Northwest Expressway and cut down that way. Piedmont has really low property taxes compared to some of our other cities in the metro area. They are less than 1%. Um, of the home's value. So that's really, really good if that is something that you're looking for. If you if you are being stationed here for Tinker Air Force Base, Tinker Air Force Base, uh, let me move this way. Okay. Oop. Oop. Tinker Air Force Base is right over here. So you can see Piedmont is up here. Tinker Air Force Base is um south southeast down here it's about 45 minutes to drive from piedmont to the base so if you are being stationed there you would probably want to look elsewhere for somewhere to live there are places over here with land if that's the kind of um home that you're looking for unless you plan on retiring here or coming back here um, and, and eventually want to end up in somewhere like Piedmont, then you might want to purchase a house there. Um, but if you're just here for a few years in and out, I would probably say go elsewhere. Um, if you're in the oil and gas industry, you're going to be in this area here unless you work from home. So it's about 35 minutes to Bricktown um, downtown area, which is right here. So that's a little bit of the driving, main driving for you. Okay, I'm gonna put some footage in and take you up County Line Road. So we're gonna go north on County Line Road. This is the easternmost boundary of Piedmont. 
I'm going to take you north up county line. Um, and we're going to go, let me find it on the map. So here's county line road. Did I go too far? Oh, that's why. Okay. 164th street is also Washington. Um, we're going to turn left on Washington. I'm going to take you west down Washington. I'm going to take you into this neighborhood right here. It's a new addition called Magnolia Meadows. Um, there are homes on half acre to one acre lots, and they range from 500 to 700,000 in there. So we're gonna drive through there. Um, you can see some of the builds that are going up. It's not quite done yet. And if we scroll out, we're going to go over, I'm gonna take you west, over to Piedmont Road. So here's Piedmont Road. And I'm going to drive you right here is the shopping center. So I'm gonna put some footage in and drive you through the shopping center. You can see where all the main shopping is, the post office, grocery stores, um, some restaurants, fast food places, little boutiques. Those are all in this area here. Piedmont has just this one main shopping area, much like Choctaw. And if we drive north, just past the shopping area, we're going to come up to 178th Street, which is also 2nd Street. And I'm going to take you left down this street. So we're going to go west down here. Okay, right here is a street called Rolling Court. Rolling Court. There's a little neighborhood in here called Rolling Meadows. Um, you can see it's not really big. And there are older homes, a little bit smaller. There's a lot of um, RVs in people's driveway here. Lots of campers. I've noticed that when I was driving all over Piedmont to get footage that a lot of people there have campers um, and RVs. So, okay. And if we come out of this neighborhood, we're going to go west again um, down 2nd Street and we'll pass Piedmont Public High School. There's only one high school in Piedmont and it is Piedmont High School. Um, and if you, if we drive, if we keep driving down the road, you'll see it, the paved road ends and then it's just dirt. And let me scroll out for you. So over here, the paved road ends and all of this on this side of Piedmont is mainly dirt roads or backcountry roads um, with farmland and agriculture down over here. Okay, I'm going to scroll back in and go back to 178th Street, 2nd Street, and turn around. I'm going to turn around over here and go east back down this road and turn into this addition here. It's called Golden Hills. Um, these are smaller lots than some of the others you've seen. The homes are, um, they're, I think they're between like 270 and 330. Currently, I mean, who knows what's going to happen with the prices um, in the coming year. But currently, they're 270 to 330. And then if you keep driving down 178th Street East, we're going to keep going east. There is another new addition going up. Let me find it. Um, I think it's right here. It's in this area right here. It's called Town Central. Homes start in the mid 300s. Um, so there's a lot of lots for sale. It is clearly unfinished. You will see that in the footage that I've included. Um, really cute houses, I think, in my opinion. I think they're really cute. Um, really nice homes. They're all a little bit different, not quite the same cookie cutter, which is nice. 
Um, and then I'm gonna take you back out and we will drive east down this road again. And you'll see in the footage, all on the left are lots of little homes. These are all little homes. And over here are bigger land, some bigger pieces of farmland. Um, so if you don't want to live in a neighborhood and you want a home on maybe five acres, you can find that in Piedmont. And like I said before, taxes, your property taxes are lower. So that is a real benefit to, um, having more land and maybe a bigger home if you want out here. Again, there are like Choctaw, you can find everything. You can find a small, tiny home that is run down or a small, tiny home that's well kept on a lot of land. You can find a huge home that needs a lot of work on a lot of land. You can find a huge home that's very nice, very well kept. Um, that is also on acreage. So it really runs the gamut of the type of homes that you want. Although they are, I think everywhere in Oklahoma, homes are really kind of the same. They're mostly have a brick facade. We have a lot of tornadoes come in and out. It's, we have a lot of wind. Um, and so you're just going to see that look a lot, a lot of brick. You'll see some stone here and there. And as, um, as new builders are coming in, they are, well, they are still doing brick. They're painting them white, you know, sort of that modern farmhouse style that's in everywhere, the white and the black and um, black trim and black window trim. That's becoming more popular here. Uh, that's a style you either love or, or don't love, but <laughs> I like it. I think it's cute, um, but I also like brick. My husband's not a huge fan of all the brick but it's kind of what you get here. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll probably think that, eh, okay, these neighborhoods look similar to what I saw before. You can find older homes, you can find new builds. Um, it just depends on how close you wanna be to everything. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna keep going east. Let me scroll out and find where I'm at. Okay, we're gonna keep driving, keep driving east. Let me scroll out so you can see this even better. Kind of get a feel for where I'm at. And back down county line, I'm gonna make a right down county line and go south. And I'm gonna turn into a street here called Schuyler Ridge Road. Um, these have larger homes on big lots. Um, currently, there's only one house in here for sale. I think it's set at a million or a million, 1.1 right now. Um, when I check the data on these homes, I don't think a home has been for sale down this road, at least not in our MLS, since 2013, 2012 or 13. So that's a long, long time. That is this street here um, as an idea of home prices and just all the different things that you can find. In terms of, like I said, in terms of being close to things, my last video I showed you, Talk Taws about 25 minutes to a hospital. Um, if you're in Piedmont here, here's Oklahoma Heart Hospital right here. Um, and Mercy Hospital is over here, and that's about 15 minutes. So it's really not too far. There's not traffic running in and out of here, just stop signs at every one of these. So it doesn't take too long to get in and out, but it is, um, I mean, as you can see, it is a ways from anywhere over here. I am not real familiar with what sports are there on offer. I don't think there's a lot. There's certainly not going to be what you're going to find in Edmond, Norman, Moore, Oklahoma City. Um, I do think music is a big part of Piedmont. I think their band program is it does well, um, or you know they're well known for that. Um, and other than that, there really isn't much to say. <laughs> So do you see winds of progress in the city? Is it similar or totally different to where you're living now? Tell us below. If you're interested in another location like this, go check out my video on Choctaw. 
And if this is completely not your vibe, then you might want to watch my Edmund video. If you want to know more about Piedmont or any of the other metro areas, please reach out anytime and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Happy moving. See you next time.